Welcome to day 19 of the 31 day mobility challenge. So today's session we are going to flow. So we're going to start in standing at the back of our mats. And the first thing we're going to do is take our feet hip distance apart. And you're just going to rock forward and back in your feet. So into your toes and back into your heels. And then I want you to try to pause in the center part of your foot. So you're not all in your toes, equally you're not all in your heels, but you feel kind of grounded through both toes and heels. So the weight is coming down through the center of the foot. From there, we're going to reach our arms up in the air, and then we're going to forward fold down. So let the hips come back and let yourself just um, hang down wherever feels good for you today. You can soften your knees a little bit just while your lower back kind of gets into the stretch. So knees bent to start and the arms will just be wherever the arms reach. Maybe the arms are reaching to your thighs, maybe they're to your shins, maybe they're down to the floor. So soft knees. And we're going to just do some head nods. So nodding, yes. So full range of motion, pull that chin in. Make sure you're breathing. So 10 of these. If it makes you dizzy, then go a little bit slower or omit the nod. Now we're going to shake the head no. Making sure you're breathing. Then the head can stay central, and then you could just rock the hips side to side, sway through the hips, maybe feel some stretching through the side body as you do that. And now I want you to come into a hamstring stretch, so straighten the legs and then take the hands to wherever you can reach to. So it doesn't really matter, it's just wherever your hands get to today. So for me, a comfortable position would be on my shins. I'm not shaking to try and to stay into that position. I just feel a nice stretch through the back of my legs. I'm pulling the kneecaps up the leg to keep my quads nice and active, and I am breathing. So from there, we're going to walk out into plank. And we're going to hold into plank position. So if that feels difficult for you to be in plank, then feel free to drop your knees down to the floor at any time. Otherwise, you're pushing back through your heels. You're pushing the floor away, separating your shoulder blades, bracing through the abs like you're going to be punched into the tummy and squeezing your bum. So from there, we're going to push our hips up and back. And again, you can have your legs as bent or as straight as you would like. You want to look at your fingers. You want to be pressing down with all your knuckles and the palm of the hand into the floor. Then you're, when you've checked your hands are pressing down, you're going to check that your ears are in between your arms and you're going to breathe. And then from there, we'll pedal the feet. So bend one leg, straighten the other. So getting a nice stretch through the upper body and then into the legs and the calves. Keep breathing. So after we've done 10, uh, you could come down and have a little rest if you felt that you need, you need to. We're gonna lift one leg up in the air. Keep pressing with those arms. And then we'll bend that leg in the air if you would like and drop that foot behind you and look under your armpit. And then breathe. So feeling a stretch through your side body. When you've had enough, you'll bring that leg down. If you need to come get knees down for a rest, then do that. Otherwise, staying up and lifting the other leg up and back in the air. Keep pressing with those arms. Nice and straight, bend the leg and take it to the side, looking under your armpit, breathing. 
and then bringing your leg back down and then we're going to walk our hands back to our feet into a forward bend coming up through the spine reaching up through the arms and then the arms come back down okay so good so we did a plank into a pike series now we're going to do a plank into an up dog so we're going to reach the arms up and we're going to roll down and then from there we're going to walk out into our plank good holding in plank make sure you get all the uh, points that we're thinking about heels back push the hands into the floor separate your shoulder blades bum is engaged abs are on breathing and then we're going to drop our hips towards the floor relax your toes and we're coming into an up dog position so now if this feels too intense on your lower back feel free to come all the way back down into a little cobra bend so this would be the modification otherwise you're in an up dog getting a nice strong stretch through the abs and a bend through that back and I'm keeping active in my legs and really pushing into my hands. So from there, we're going to wag the tail. So we're going to look to, over our shoulder to our foot. And then the other side. So 10 wags. Good. Bending through the waist. This is five. So remember, five out of 10. Six, if you need to come lower, then do so. Good. Eight. Two more. Nine. Ten. We curl our toes under. We push back into plank. We walk the hands back to the feet. And then we curl ourselves up. Reach up to the ceiling. And then arms come down. So we're going to move from there into a lunge. So again, same thing. We're going to reach our arms up. And we're going to fold forward, reaching out into our plank. And then from there, we're going to take one foot forward in between your hands. So some people find that really hard to be able to get your foot all the way through. So if you need to be here, bring your knee down, bring the leg through, and then come up and, you know, modify to however you need. So we're in that lunge position, we're pushing back through the heel and thinking about pulling my chest through my arms. Back leg is nice and active and straight. We're going to do five little pulses forward here. Three, bending that front knee. Four, five. Then we're going to drop that back knee down to the floor. Same thing, five little pulses. One, lunging. Two, three, four, five, hands comes up to the hips and five pulses, one, two, so knee tracks over that first toe, so take a look at that, arms are going to come up and again five pulses, one, two, three, four, Five, hands come down inside the knee. We're going to do five rotations. So I'm going to lift my arm that's closest to my knee up, twist, then taking my elbows and forearms close to the floor as possible. Four more. Rotate up and then forearms down to the floor as much as I can. Three and down. Four. And down one more time, five, and then trying to get that arm down as much as you can. And then we're going to push up, and I'm going to try and open this knee out to the side as much as I can without letting my foot lift off. So if you find it easier to put your hand on your foot and then use your knee, uh, elbow to press your knee open so the foot doesn't roll, you could do that. Or you could press out with a hand, but really be a vigilant with that foot, you're actually not rolling out on your ankle. Okay, we're going to take our hands back down, stepping that leg back into our plank, 
walking our hands back. So we have done our lunge sequence on our first side, coming back. Okay, so we have to repeat that on the other side. So we're reaching the arms up, folding down, walking out. So drop that back knee if you need to, otherwise you're bringing that leg through into that lunge position. Hands are inside the knee, lengthening through that back leg. So that back leg is nice and active, thinking about pulling your chest through. And then from there, little pulses through that front knee. Two, three, four, and five. Knee comes down, same thing again. Pulse, one, two. Notice any difference between sides. Three, four, five. Hands come to the hips and pulse again. One, two, three, four. Ready for arms up. Reach up and again, track the knee over your first toe as you pulse. Two, three, four, five. We're going to come into those rotations. So hand comes down, I'm going to rotate towards my knee, through my spine, not my shoulder, and then pressing that elbow down and forearm as close as it will go to the floor. Twist up through the spine, that mid part of your back, Arm comes down, three to go. Twist and release, last two. Twist and down, and last time, twist and down. See how you can keep it as down as low as you can. Then press it up. So now pushing that knee open as much as you can, working to keep the foot in contact with the floor. So big toe stays down. Again, you can hold the foot down and open the knee through the elbow. So your choice, whatever feels the right thing for you. We're breathing. We're stepping back into our plank, walking our hands to our feet, coming up through the spine. Arms reach up and then arms come down. So we're going to go into a rotating plank, which is basically a high plank followed by a side plank on each side. So arms reach up and then arms come down, folding forward, walking the hands out into plank. So remember, if you need to drop your knees to the floor, then do so. I'm going to show you the full version first. So from plank, I'm going to turn my feet onto the sides and I'm going to reach my arm up and then I'm going to turn to the other way through plank. Then I'm going to come back to plank and then I'm going to walk my hands back and then I'll bring my arms up. So that will be the full version. I'm going to show you the modified version this time. Okay, so the arms come down and reaching those arms up and Forward fold, reaching forward into your plank. So you would drop your knees to the floor or stay with the knees off the floor. Then I would turn with my knee down on the floor, straighten my top leg into my supported side plank, come back to my knees, knee on the floor, into my side plank, back to the center. And then either pushing yourself back on your knees to come back up or going back into plank to come back up. Okay, let's do two more. Reaching the arms up, forward fold. Hands walk out into a nice active plank, push back through your heels. Go onto the side edges of the feet. Reach the arms up and really lift up through your waist. Breathe, good. Back through plank to the other side. Reach up through your waist. Good, a few breaths in each position, walking back, curling up through the spine. So this can feel quite breathy, it can feel like sleepy cardio. That's all good. And then coming back down, arms come back up, forward fold. Last time, walking out into your plank. Good, S sides of the feet, reach and lift up through the hip. Squeeze those legs together, couple of breaths there, 
back into plank all the way through to the side plank on the other side, lifting through your hips. Couple of breaths there. Come back into your plank and then walk the hands back and then slowly coming up through the spine. Roll your shoulders back at the top. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna work on is some single leg um, deadlifts using a block. So if you've ever seen any of the golfers, like Tiger Woods, how they pick up their ball out of the hole, they don't often just bend down. They tend to use a technique where they take one leg back, like a single leg deadlift, and they'll pick the ball up from the hole and stand up. So we're gonna use a block as our imaginary golf ball. And we're gonna think about um, our hinge forward, put the block on the floor, balancing, and then we'll leave the block on the floor as we stand up, and then we'll hinge down to pick it back up. So what, some things I want you to think about on a single leg deadlift, I'll just get rid of the block for a second, is that we move as one. So as soon as my back leg comes into that lip, about to lift, I'm leaning forward at the same time. So if you look, my body should be kind of like a ski slope that whole time, and that doesn't break. So I see a lot of people, they'll go leg, then reach down. You want it to be like a teeter-totter, a seesaw, where your body moves in one line. So really active through your bum as you kick the leg back. So it is an active leg. It's not this limp little leg that comes back. And thinking about core tight as well. So the block is in the same leg as you're going to balance on, in the same hand as the leg you're going to balance on. So we're going to take that leg back. As soon as that leg starts to move, I'm going to pop that block down on the floor and then I'm going to stand up. You could check if you want our hips to stay level. You could put your hands on your hips when you don't have the block in your hand and see that those hips stay nice and level. Reach down, grab the block and stand up. So we're going to do that again. So hips hinge, leg presses back. I'm squeezing my bum. I'm putting the block down. I'm trying to keep my hips nice and square. Then I push myself back to standing. And then we're going to come lean forward as your leg comes back all in one line. Supporting leg is soft. Get your block and stand up. So the other thing I want you to think about as you're practicing this is what is happening at your foot. So we're doing tripod foot. Big toe, little toe, heel in contact. Making the natural arch of the foot by slightly pulling up into the grabbing with the toes a little bit. Okay, so one more time on this side. So you want to build up to do 10 on each side. So put, putting it down and picking it up. So one more. So as that leg comes back and I fold forward, I reach down, put the block down, and then I come back up. And again, think about bending at the hips, coming down, reaching for the block, and then come back up. Nice, so let's see what it feels like on the other side. So again, you could pause the video, do a few, a few more reps, and then switch sides. Or for today, you could just keep going and join in with me. Okay, so block in the same side as the leg you're balancing on. That leg is gonna kick back. I lean forward and I take my block down to the floor and then I come back up. Good, so thinking about your foot, nice and active, pressing that leg back. Hips stay nice and uh, level. And coming back up. So what I mean by that, imagine you've got headlights shining on your hips and you want them, the headlights to shine down to the floor, not shine up and out to the side. Okay, so let's do that again. Headlights are on, shine them forward and then shine them down to the floor. Don't let them shine to the side and then coming back up. So working on our balance as well as we're working through this. We're working on that foot and ankle strength. So you want to be competent at these 
before you start adding a lot of weight in your deadlift to make sure you've got your hinging mechanics um, down before you start adding a lot of weight. Okay, so work up to 10 of those on each side. So bring the block with you. We're going to finish as we began in that um, hamstring stretch. We'll use the block. You could use any edge of the block. So you could use tall block and straighten your legs. Tighten the thighs, chin into chest. So if that feels a comfortable position, maybe you want two blocks stacked on top of each other. Maybe this is too low for you. Or you could take the block onto its side, if that feels the right stretch for you today. Or you could take the block flat. So wherever feels good for you today. So you want to think about having your weight equally again distributed between your toes and heels. So feel, oh, I'm back with my heels and no weight in my toes. We don't want that. Or I'm leaning forward into my toes, no weight on the heels. We don't want that. We want to, so you can rock forward and back and then find the place that's somewhere in the middle of those two spots. So we're going to go into nice straight legs, our 10 yeses. See how that feels different to when we began. Do you have more range in your spine? more flexibility in your hamstrings. If that makes you dizzy, just keep the head hanging down. And then your nose, gentle side to side. Breathing. Check that you haven't changed your weight on your feet. And then we're going to take our hands onto our legs. We're going to unpeel through the spine, one vertebra at a time, slowly coming up, so we're stacking, keeping the weight equally distributed on your feet, one at a time. When you get to the top, you're going to roll your shoulders back and down, and then feel how it feels to stand on the mat now, after doing that little flow, compared to how you felt when you first started. So that's it for today. Congratulations on taking that time for yourself and I'll see you again tomorrow. Thank you.